protesters removing the police barricades and pushing the riot police back. People in Sri Lanka rioted because in one year, the country slipped into extreme poverty. A big reason is because Sri Lanka's government fell under the influence of the world's hardcore environmentalists. The green generation has risen up. We must go from harming our planet to healing it. Many governments have embraced the idea that pure nature is best. For most of our history, humans lived in harmony with nature. But we have shattered that balance creating a climate catastrophe. We need the countries to work together. UN officials now say the climate crisis requires countries to cut nitrogen waste. There is only one Earth. Because chemical fertilizers give off nitrogen emissions, activists applauded when Sri Lanka decided to become the first organic-only economy in the world. The country's president banned all synthetic fertilizers. Bang. We Americans paid little attention, but media in the area saw the effects. They were forced to go organic overnight, and their production has plummeted since. Suddenly, the same farms produced much less food. Food prices rose 80%. That sparked these protests. The protesters stormed into the president's mansion. The president resigned the next day. It turns out that people need chemical fertilizers. Modern chemicals, in most cases, are pretty good. Of course they are. Michael Schellenberger, once named one of Time Magazine's Heroes of the Environment, now says today's green dogma would lead to mass starvation. We could only support two to three billion people on Earth if we just rely on natural fertilizers like manure. There's 8 billion people. Why can't we make more organic manure? It takes twice as much land just to produce all the cows that you need the manure from. So synthetic fertilizers are a friend to saving nature because they reduce how much land we need. Now the environmental purists are making excuses for Sri Lanka. They say it's ridiculous to single out the fertilizer ban as the cause, as Schellenberger does. <laughs> I don't think it's ridiculous to point out there was agricultural collapse after they banned fertilizers. Organics advocates made this video saying, The country needed time to change and adjust to the organic way of farming. You might be able to become poorer over five or 10 years rather than over six months, but the result is going to be the same either way. There were other causes of the problems, higher oil prices, COVID, other stuff happened. But those same problems affected other countries where the economies did not collapse. What made the difference in Sri Lanka was its fertilizer ban. But environmentalists are right to be concerned about chemical fertilizers. The nitrous oxide they emit is a greenhouse gas. And when nitrogen runs off into waterways, it can create dead zones where fish and other aquatic species are unable to survive. Absolutely, we should be concerned, but that's best dealt with through a gradual process of farmers getting better at applying the fertilizer to their crops. Farmers are already doing that. She spends more than $100,000 a year on manufactured fertilizer. Since fertilizer is expensive, farmers have an incentive to make sure it's not wasted as pollution. We want to make sure we get that fertilizer to the plant. We know that you can significantly reduce pollution while producing the same amount of food. In the Netherlands, they reduced fertilizer pollution by 70%. But now Dutch farmers are protesting because their government now wants so much more reduction that thousands of farms would have to shut down. It's out of control. It's completely unnecessary. We have to get to 100% renewable energy. We see the same extremism with ideas like the Green New Deal. We have to get to 100% renewable energy. We're in the worst energy crisis in 50 years. Energy prices going from record to record. And yet here we are, governments are trying to make energy more scarce and expensive. European power plants are desperately trying to buy coal because wind energy hasn't performed 
it's totally insane. There's no other word for it. This pursuit of a chemical-free world is insane. Modern technologies like chemical fertilizer make people's lives better. Stopping that progress brings disaster. With poverty soaring, one in five Sri Lankans are going hungry. People have no gas to cook, people have no money to buy food. So this has to stop. Sri Lanka today, the world tomorrow. Let's hope the hardcore environmental left doesn't get its way. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you get the next one. Thank <laughs> you.